hey guys welcome back to my channel y'all it has been a long crazy time so let's just get right to it all right so i am basically starting my budget all back over like savings challenges except for my 52 week savings challenge i'm going to keep that one so i've already got some of it pretty much but um i was going through the underwriting process so i was very limited on what i could do with cash stuffing but guess what guys i am like fully back we have moved into our new house um thank you guys for all of your support and all of you know what i'm saying asking me where have you been are you okay are you doing okay where are you at so yeah i am good so i am actually in my new room office um space which i'm so happy so we have a lot of space to do a lot of different things in there and i do have a little different setup for um my um budgeting is on my desk um as you can see the camera moved a little bit but um yeah so it's like a little bit different setup but i am going to be pretty much like playing with different things to see how it works but for right now this is what it is because i got to get back going to what i was doing okay all right so we are into july july is going to be freaking crazy because basically i'm dealing with bills from the old house and bills from the new house so also if you guys want to know or ask me any questions about the underwriting of buying new house and how that went for me as not just as a first time home buyer but as a second time home buyer y'all it is a whole different ball game whole different ball game but um depends on what type of lender realtor you work with that is very very important when you're trying to find a house but i mean even though i had a good lender and i had a good realtor i still was like stressing myself out y'all i was a hot freaking mess all right, so like i said um i am pretty much starting my budget pretty much back over so um this is going to be a new start for me even though i have been doing budget budgeting a long time and like i said with budgeting is always good to if you can start over and there's a lot of budgeters that have been doing budgeting for a long time sometimes they have certain things that happen in their life they pause and then they come back and they say hey what i was doing was not working with me but the bills the mortgage payment and everything is totally different so i have got to restart so if you are starting out with your budget or if you want to restart your budget too so hop on y'all because we are going to be restarting i am going to actually be stuffing my cash envelope wallet this is my everyday spending wallet that i use for everyday spending so my categories are a little bit different but they're pretty much the same so i gotta kind of like rearrange things and figure things out but hey budgeting is not perfect it's always going to be different things so you never know all right so i'm going to open my wallet but we need to figure out how much money you're going to be doing and i'm going to be adding to my 52 week savings challenge so that's why i have two sets of monies here so for my cash envelope wallet i have 280 dollars that we're going to be cash stuffing today so let's go ahead and count to make sure that's exactly what we have so we got 50 100 20 40 60 80 220 30 40 50 55 56 5 70 75 80 all right so we got 280 and please guys tell me what you think about the lighting i'm gonna bring my cash tray down just a tad bit because um like i said i have a new setup and this is my first video after a long video because i've been doing like kind of sporadically doing videos and i was like i can't do it i just need to focus on this house thing and then i'll go back to my um, business um things that i'm doing um let's see we'll go ahead and we'll do this second and then we'll go ahead and then we'll do our cash envelope stuff and i just want to keep things separate so i'm actually going to just put that right there for now all right so i got some little envelopes here some new envelopes so i'm going to put this here and i do keep my pen in here because i'm going to actually take this and stick it under there because i do got some tracker sheets that i'm going to be um trying to track my um cash envelopes um spending that i spent out of it because i want to make sure i'm now with different bills that we have i seriously need to keep track all right so first we're going to do boba so boba we're going to be doing five dollars so i'm going to get a one five dollar bill so we're going to put that in here all right so next we have so we don't have anything in here so we're going to do five dollars and i did do my unstuffing on my instagram and my tiktok i do a lot of the unstuffing on there because i can do it super quick and it's really not a long video so i was like let me just do it on there so next we have our crisp and crisp we are um five dollars and if you hear noise in the background it's just um we are still like trying to get things organized so um yeah 
but we are out of the old house so that is pretty much done so now what we're doing is working on the house that we're in now so having two houses that you have to clean and organize is whoo, a bummer all right so next we have groceries so groceries we have a hundred and ten that we're going to be adding and we are actually going to be doing two fifties i don't know why i'm reaching over here and a 10 so we're going to do 50 110 and we, we want actually to want to get a freezer to put in the basement because we actually have a lot of room now so that will help us keep extra meat and so that way we can just thaw it out in the morning and then have it for dinner um, when we get home so that'll work out and next we have planning and budgeting i decided to put this back in so just in case if i want to do like some pins that i want for my budgeting because like i said i like to keep my budget kind of fun and pretty much colorful so having some cute markers and having some cute pins always make budgeting oh yeah and sticky notes and stickers make budgeting a lot funner all right so planning and budgeting we're going to do 15 dollars, and we don't have anything in there um so we're going to do 110 and we're going to do one five so we have 10 15 dollars which i don't need 15 dollars in pens y'all <laughs> or stickers all right so next we have gas so gas we have 20 dollars that we have left over so we let me put 15. so we are actually going to be doing 60 and we're going to be adding that because i'm still going to be starting doing like we're trying to pay myself the weeks that i don't get paid by weekly so i'm going to do it for my side hustle money so that's 20 40 60 and then we have 80. And these wallets, guys, are actually in the shop. These come with the zipper wallets. It's like a little starter kit. So if you just starting out, you can just grab that for now. And um, I might start offering these envelopes again in the shop. So, I mean, if you, you know, if I get enough requests, I might put them back. So you guys just have to let me know. All right, so we got $80. All right, so next we have Aiden. Aiden, I've already moved his money into, let's see. Did I miss? Aiden, I didn't put personal on here. So I'm wondering if I'm, I don't think I'm going to get any personal money this time, y'all. What? Yeah, personal is, I've got enough stuff for personal, so I really don't need anything. So we're going to do a zero there and zero. So we're going to do a zero there. So that's what happens when you do not budget your envelope in there. You just don't get any money in there. Okay. Unless it's gas or unless it's like, you know what I'm saying? Stuff that you seriously need. Okay, so Aiden, like I said, we've already taken his money and moved that to his sinking fund binder. So Aiden will get $20. So we're going to do one $20 bill. And this one has tape on it, but it should be all right. All right, so we're going to do one $20 bill. All right, so that'll give us $20. So next we're going to do eat out. So eat out, I don't want to do too much because we need to start cooking a lot more, like seriously cooking a lot more. Number one, because it helps with the bill. And number two, it's a little bit health is not a little bit, but it's more healthier because even if you try to buy healthy food, it is still expensive, but it'll be a little bit more healthier than eating out french fries and cheeseburgers i guess i mean i guess you can make your own cheeseburgers at home all right so eat out we're doing 25 dollars, and we don't have anything in that so we're going to do a 20 and a five so let's go to 20 and a five so we have 25 dollars y'all don't know how happy i am to be doing cash stuff and i don't know how people do cashless budgeting like if you do that like i mean i'm like like I am super amazed at you doing that because I tried to do it. It was a struggle. I was stressed, anxiety, and I was like, it was like a hot mess for me. Like seriously, a hot mess. All right, so next we have Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree, we don't have anything in there. Dollar Tree, we're gonna add $10. So we're gonna do one $10 bill. And next we have Household. So Household, we're gonna do $30 and I don't think there's anything in there, nope. Of course, there's not. This is see-through, right, y'all? Tripping. So we're gonna do a 20 and two five. So we have 20, 25, 30. So this is way, I wanna start getting like some supplies and stuff since we have room down in the basement again. Um, I wanna get like, start like, like small couponing kind of like, or like stock up on like things like toilet paper, paper towels, things that you go through super fast or laundry detergent, things like that, but not going overboard, okay? All right, so then I just have my receipt envelopes, my coins, and then my, and then I will fill these out. Um, I didn't do it through the video because I didn't want to bore you guys with writing on my draggers, right? Okay, 
Um, so that is done with my everyday cash spending wallet. All right, so next what we're gonna do, so we have 52 weeks, so we're gonna do $63. All right, so we do not need my book anymore. So I'm gonna put that over there. So let's go ahead and count our cash. So 63. So we have 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 60, 63. All right, so we got 63, and I'm just gonna put this here. So I think we're doing three weeks, I think. And like with savings challenges, this right here is actually cash that I had left from unstuffing my cash envelope wallet. I had, um, this time I did $35, and the other time I had $28 left, so that's where the $63 is coming out of. Like I said, I'm gonna try to do my budget a little bit different because my bills are a little bit more. So that's why I'm trying to be more like strategic with doing like savings challenges and not getting too ahead of myself, but I still will bring out more savings challenges for you guys, but I will pretty much try to focus on, you know what I'm saying, what I need to do. All right, so for, let's do this. Okay, so for our savings challenges, we're gonna go to our 52 weeks. So 52 weeks, let's see what we have here. All right, so we are at, let's see. Okay, so we should be at week 19. And so we're gonna do 19, 20, and 21. That's the weeks that we're gonna do. So we got 19, 20, and 21. All right, so these should be exact amounts, so none over, because some of these I've put extra cash in it to go over a little bit if because I didn't have change. So week 19, we're gonna do $20. And now this is the second time that, oh, this is ripped, look at that. So this is the second time that I have um, started this challenge, the first time I finished it. All right, so week 20, we're gonna do $21. And it's a little bit off because instead of doing the exact week, I added a dollar to each week. So instead of week 19 being $19, it's actually $20 because I added a dollar. And then week 20, um, instead of being 20, it's 21. And at the end, you will save 1,430. So it's, I think it's like 50 bucks extra that you'll save or 52 or something like that. All right, so we're gonna do 10, 15, 20, 21. So 10, 15, 20, 21. So we're gonna actually do that. All right, so let's go ahead and put that in there. All right. And then the last week we're gonna do $22. So we got 5, 10, 15, 20. 21, 22. All right, so we got $22. All right, there we go. All right, y'all, so we are pretty much done. Super easy cash envelope stuffing. Um, like I said, I'm starting my whole budget back over because I got different bills and different things to do, different mindset, y'all, because when you have like a chance to kind of like sit back and kind of like relax and say like, hey, what I got going on, you, your brain starts like, thinking of different things that you can do to make stuff better. All right, so thank you guys so much for chilling with me. Be sure to check out my Instagram and my TikTok. It's called A Pink Cloth Life. And then also check out my website. It's called pinkcloth.co. I know some people say .com, but it's pinkcloth.co. And thank you guys so much for checking out my video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share because I like to know your comments, um, what you thought, and then also about your budget. And then like I always say, until next time, guys, peace.